Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day and every day I'm shuffling and I'm going to use four decks today, we're going to bring in the gorgeous spirit of the animals oracle by Jody Berganza, I think, Berg Bergsma and we're going to bring in the Eternal Seeker Oracle by Pamela Steele. And again, you know, struggling to get the words out today. The masculines are still going through this. Bear with them. I feel there's a lot of heat between the twins today. A lot of awakening. A lot of understanding. Itching. If your ears are itching, your eyes are itching, your body's itching. It's itching for change. There's things being brought to the surface for healing. There's things happening now behind the scenes. You're being guided. Rainbows. The masculines are seeing rainbows today, not only as a symbol of protection, but also as a sign that they can have that happy ever after. There is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and that pot of gold is union. So that's what you're being shown. So if you start seeing rainbows today, it's about union is possible for you in this lifetime right now. So you've been asked to have faith. We're also going to bring in the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine Messages of Love because we're going to do a channeled message. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know? So let's do this then. And remember, we are doing the Mother Healing Series right now. So if you feel that you want to bring some healing energy into your life, that's a great series to watch and do. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, today around the connection? What's the energy, please, around the connection? There we go. The energy on that one. No, one card. The energy around the Divine Feminine. These cards are bigger than me. They're huge. The energy, please, angels. Thank you. And the energy around the Divine Masculines. The energy around the Masculines. There we go. We're going to do the energy around the connection. What do we need to know for the connection today, please? The energy around the connection. The energy around the Divine Feminine. Jumped out the deck. And the energy around the Divine Masculine today. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Just pick this card up here. That's for the feminine. And then what does the feminine want to say to the masculine today? Wow. And what does the masculine want to say to the feminine today? Look at that jumping out. Couldn't even pick it up then. It wanted to come out so badly. There we go. Okay. So we're going to do the channeled message at the end of the reading. Okay. And then we're going to start with these cards. So the message for the day then. We've got wisdom. Wow. So... You're being reminded that every single day on this journey, you learn. You learn and grow and become wise and stronger than before. And the owl is a symbol of wisdom. You know, owls learn. Well, owls are nocturnal creatures, you know, the nighttime birds. And owls see things in the darkness. Owls can see. They can also turn their head all the way around. So this is about seeing all sides of the situation. And gaining wisdom from that. And it's about understanding that we learn through the dark times. We learn in the nighttime hours. You know, when we're dreaming. Because when we are dreaming as well, we can experience dream schooling. Where the angels take us, you know, out of our body and into a classroom of sorts. Where we learn things and understand and grow. And this is also about surrender. We learn to surrender and let go. And I'm really seeing on a staff there... The kundalini energy, the way we rise together and the way you share that light body, you know, the way that you connect as one. So this is definitely about 5D communication today and connecting with the other realms and being guided and, you know, not being afraid of what's to come. You know, this is what you learn. You gain wisdom and power. So if you see an owl today, you're being reminded that you are becoming so much wiser through the dark things you go through. And we all go through dark times in our life. It helps us to see the light. We've also got vision. And well, they're giving me the word vision. This is bison and abundance, but they're giving me a vision of abundance. So it's very important on this journey that we have a vision of what we desire. Now, we let go of how it's going to happen, in what way it's going to happen, or when it's going to happen, because those things can lead to disappointment if it doesn't go our way. But the universe knows the quickest, most fastest route to what you desire, whether that's your union itself or something you are creating or manifesting. All you have to do is believe and 
feel it in the now, to create it in the now. It says, sacred buffalo, cloak me in your wisdom. I love that because, again, we've got that parrot guidance, that repetitive word, wisdom. So you've been reminded that this is a journey of gaining wisdom. So we can speak words out, words of abundance, spit things out. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm feeling again here. So we can share wisdom with others, help other divine feminines, other twin flames, other people, our children, people we are helping and learning and teaching every day, learning from and teaching to. Keep me warm through the storms of life. So it could be a storm today. And that storm, remember, is showing you that things are changing in your life. <clears throat> Again, they're giving me a feeling like something needs to come up. Something needs to come out. So whenever we go through a storm in the physical, it clears the air. You know, think about if it's really humid and hot and you have a thunderstorm, it clears the air, it becomes cooler. So whatever storms you go through in your life, then there's a reason why it happens to clear the air, to bring things up to the surface, to make things easier to deal with. Fill my life with goodness. So that's about looking around you and noticing all the good you have now. Remember, perception creates reality. So what you think about, you bring about. You know, you could be having a bad day, but if you look around, you can create it into a good day because everything has purpose and meaning. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. Wow. So the angels are reminding you that through the lessons you learn, you learn to respond with love instead of reacting with fear. You learn to look at the bigger picture and see things from a higher point of view. You learn to be grateful and to pray. Because when we pray, we ask for help. And when we are grateful, we open the door to blessings. Isn't that beautiful? So for the feminine today, we've got shadows. And this is about embracing the darkness. Look what she's doing. She's holding, or he is holding the dragon there. And dragons you know, can be our demons if we think about it in that way. What I'm seeing with this is slaying our dragons. Now, don't look at this as in our real dragons because dragons help the connection. They move things out of the way. I'm talking about fear, our own inner fears. You know, we say, oh, we are battling our demons or we're battling our dragons. We're slaying our dragons. It's a term. So this is about instead of fighting against the currents, embracing it. You know, this person is embracing this dragon. So we have to face our fears. We have to embrace them. We have to look at them head on to understand them instead of trying to fight them or run from them. So it's about embracing everything in your life, including the shadows and realizing that shadows are never as big as they seem or as bad as they seem. You know, think about your shadow. It's huge compared with your body. So our mind can blow things out of proportion and it's like when we're in the darkness say if you go and watch a horror film and it's really scary it puts things in your mind and that creates fear so you know if you turn the light off at night your mind starts playing tricks on you and you start visualizing or thinking about the worst but when you turn the light on there's nothing there you may think something's in the corner of your room or under your bed but you turn the light on there's nothing there so it's about remembering that light illuminates you to the truth. All we have to do is look at things a bit clearer. When we're going through the shadows, the darkness, you know, the scary times, we're engrossed in that. And we have to just take a step back to see it from a much higher, much lighter point of view. You know, because when we are in the shadows, we're in burdens. We feel heavy. And when we're rising up to see things from a higher point of view we are in a lighter vibration things seem and feel easier simpler lighter because we're giving it to heaven so the message today is give your cares concerns and worries to heaven and understand that tomorrow will take care of itself so there's no point stressing over it instead be in the now and focus on what you can control which is your vision and your power so for the feminine, we've got personal choice. So you're being reminded that everything is a personal choice and this journey is a personal choice. You signed up for this journey before you came into this earth body. That was your personal choice. So if you think it's all bad and 
you know, you're thinking, why am I going through this? I just want to get off the ride. You got on the ride in the first place. So you have to ride it. You're strapped in. You're going to have highs. You're going to have lows. You're going to have twists and turns. And you're going to get thrown upside down. It's going to make you feel sick and nauseous. But you're going to feel elated when you get off at the end. You're going to receive what you want. So close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? So this is also reminding you that you have a spirit animal around you right now. Now, it's really powerful this has come up because for the feminine right now, today, we've got the spirit animal of the horse, the symbol of freedom, passion, purpose, liberation, and personal power because you can carry other people's burdens around, but then you can let them go. What strengths are they known for? So think about your spirit animal. You may automatically know what this animal is. Like I know I personally connect with the cat, but other days there may be another animal coming in around you. Could be the owl, could be a bison, it could be something else. And you know, the angels are with you. Could be your personal dragon coming to you, which we all have. So what strengths are they known for? So the, the owl is has the strength of seeing in the dark and living in the dark times, overcoming those dark times, those shadows, and seeing things from all, all places, all things, because the owl can turn its head around. So this is reminding you that you have the choice to think bigger, to see things from a different way. But what strengths are your personal animal known for? So this is a little bit of homework for you, Divine Feminine. You know, we're all about the homework right now with the Mother Healing Series. So, you know, today, if you get five minutes to yourself, close your eyes and what animal comes into your mind? Or maybe you're shown an animal in nature and you're wondering what that animal is communicating to you. So think about what strengths that animal is known for. What wisdom do they share? So again, it's about wisdom. So you're receiving wisdom today from your spirit animal and embrace these qualities. So these qualities, whatever you're being shown today, whatever animal is there when you close your eyes or whatever animal is coming to you in your physical world, embrace those qualities. Embrace the freedom of the horse, the wisdom of the owl, the power within you. Beautiful. Okay, so your spirit animal is guiding you. For the masculine, wow, we've got the swan now. This is another sign because, you know, your spirit animal is also about your divine feminine power, which is the swan. So swans are about grace and beauty and purity and power. You know, swans are very powerful beings. You know, if you see a swan, they may look all nice and fluffy on the lake, but when they get up and they move about, they can be a little bit scary. So this is how powerful the swan is. And swans mate for life. And there's two swans here. It says, you who glides across the water of my soul. So you glide, divine feminine, across your divine masculine soul. Listen to this. Bring me your wisdom and light. I love this. So it's all about wisdom today. Bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the girth of beauty. And they give me the word girth, but this is spirit of beauty. And girth is what comes from within. So the angels are saying to you, you have power. Your divine feminine spirit gives your divine masculine power. The power is within you, around you, above you. You know your truth. And it feels again like things are being released today. So the swan is the divine feminine power. This may be the animal you connected with it when you closed your eyes, but you are inspiring the masculine to transform and be their true self through your elegance your grace your power you inspire them with your dignity and the spirit of your beauty and look at this infinity we've got the infinity sign eternity that sacred love that eternal bond and also abundance and prosperity if you see it as an unbreaked so the masculine knows that you are infinite beings that you are one, that you are eternal. So the swan is a great symbol today of your bond, your divine union, what's coming in. And it's really even more powerful because yesterday we had that sacred union card coming out too. So your journey is infinite. There are infinite possibilities. This is a vast, limitless universe. Don't let the ego drag you down. 
So the swan, the owl, it's all about wisdom and power, giving it to heaven. And look what the feminine's doing here as well, raising up or rising up, raising her vibration, giving it to heaven. So feminine, today you're saying, feel my love. So you're sending your masculine love and you're saying, feel this. Now he's saying to you, I feel you physically, is that possible? So he is feeling you in every way. You feel like home. So remember, it's all about feelings and feelings bring power. You feel like home. With you, it feels natural, normal, powerful. And I am sorry I blamed you. So families, this is super powerful today because all the wisdom you're gaining and all the knowledge and all the things you're understanding is showing you that you don't need to blame your twin. Wow, look at that. Someone's outside mowing, like using like one of those hedge trimmers. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but things being moved out of the way. So when you stop blaming your twin and you forgive them in the situation in yourself, things start moving forward. Tell me how you feel. So you're connecting with your masculine today on the 5D saying, I feel you. Tell me how you feel. So this is about feelings, trusting those feelings. I see signs about you constantly. So you're being reminded that the signs are real. And you're communicating that to your twin through telepathy. I see the signs about you and I feel you. You feel like home and you are my future. Even when you get knocked down, you know they are your future. And these are what you are. This is what you're feeling, divine feminine. Look at this. I'm sorry I was jealous. So the feminine is learning so much here because you're saying, I'm sorry I was jealous. I'm sorry I blamed you. I am now healing all of that through wisdom. And the masculine is saying to you, they're giving me a lot of fear around this because he's releasing all the fear. So he's able to express this to you. Our love is real. So the masculine is saying, it's okay. Our love is real. It's infinite. And I love that because, you know, we've got that infinity. Our love is real because our love is infinite. And I am sending you love. So your masculine today is sending you love. And you're going to feel that love too. Look at this. I feel you. This is so powerful. And again, the communication may not be there physically, but you feel each other. Feel my love. And your masculine is saying, I feel you because we are infinite beings. And I was born to be with you, divine feminine. I was born to become the divine masculine I am. And now I'm becoming. I was born to be your partner. I was born to connect with you in this lifetime and be with you and help the world. I was born to be with you, feel my love because I feel yours. What a powerful message. So the homework today, close your eyes and feel what animal comes to you and why. Sit with the energy, sit with the energy and the angels will give you the answers. And if you're not sure, Google the spiritual meaning of the animal you are seeing. But the animal will communicate with you what you need to know. But this is a day of feeling, feel the love, feel the connection. You may still not yet have communication in the physical world, but when you realize you are an infinite being, you realize you're always connected through telepathy and that physical connection, that physical touch, that physical, you know, speech, it's just not needed. And when it's not needed, that's when it comes in. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.